Come on, AMC, this is free advertising. All you have to do is keep up with your inventory and please a glutton. Welcome, this is the Film Glutton, and this is another Concessions Confessions featuring the AMC Chicken and Waffle Sandwich versus the AMC Cheeseburger Sliders. I first got to try the AMC Chicken and Waffle Sandwich when I saw Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah, sorry for the delay. Let's just say I wanted to pit these two against one another, but for that, I want to try them each twice, and AMC seems to constantly lose concessions inventory to the Quantum Verse. Let's start with the recap on the sliders for my Mission Impossible Fallout and Equalizer double feature review. I got them as a triple feature combo and gave them an XL for extra light. The first few lines from that review sum up my thoughts. The buns were super soft and fluffy. They were like tasty, doughy clouds that angelically held together tiny BB treasures. But these little gifts from the heavens also came with devilish horns that came in the form of a special sauce. Of course they had cheese, which was good, but that's not how they earned the high grade. Even though it all came together nicely, those buns and that sauce was the secret. In my review, I compared the sauce to Raising Cane's sauce. If you've never been to a Raising Cane's, make it a bucket list thing. Especially if you like chicken fingers. Well, actually, only if you like chicken fingers, because that's literally all they sell there. Cane's sauce ingredients are super top secret and closely guarded. But according to a quick Google search, it has mayo, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, black pepper, and garlic pepper. That all sounds about right. The AMC version is more mayo heavy, I would say, or they're missing a cane detail because it's not as good, but close enough to set these ciders apart from others and leave you with a memorable taste. And those buns, look, you know the breading is frozen until cooked, just like the rest of it. But still, somehow they're so light and fluffy They'll leave you saying, I like small buns and I cannot lie. Yeah, I went there. Sorry. I do have to be the bearer of bad news and report why they did not achieve an XXL. And this is a big one. You could say a beefy reason. Or in these sliders case, not so beefy. These patties are too thin. I know what you're thinking. But glutton, they're sliders. I get that. But it feels like they were innovative with the buns and sauce, then threw on a White Castle patty. White Castle patties work because the buns are small. Bottom line is, everything about this burger makes them stand head and shoulders above both White Castle and Crystals, except for the burgers themselves. And that's something this glutton cannot overlook. A quick solution, one double slider as opposed to trying to make us feel like we're getting more. Now, on to the chicken and waffles. I'll admit, this one had me excited even before I tasted it. I mean, if nothing else, it's cake and KFC, right? Just as I did with the sliders, I got the chicken and waffles as a triple feature combo. That means I saw the black box before anything. Thus, I had my first impression, the weight. Already it had a slight edge over the sliders as my hand lowered trying to compensate for how heavy it was. Obviously a lot of protein. I opened it and examined the contents. A few surprises. No obvious sign of syrup, but it had a side of honey mustard? This left me with uncertainty and questions. Then, the star attraction. Crispy fried chicken flanked by grids of baked waffle batter. First bite and all my worries vanished. Crispy fried chicken, waffle, and a sweet, sweet syrup flavor baked into the waffle buns. If anyone's ever had a McGriddle, you know what I'm talking about. It was a perfect balance of savory and sweet. Actually, a million times better than any McGriddle. The, the syrup flavor was evenly distributed, no bite felt lacking, and it kept me from overdosing on syrup. I never know when it's too much, until it's too much. They had done it. They ripped off Roscoe's and successfully put a messy and complex dish into an easy to hold sandwich. How could I ever go back to just chicken strips alone? It was so simple, bare bones, strictly waffles and chicken, as advertised. Aside from the baked and syrup, there was no creative flair. Just two good products put together in a smart way. Okay, that does bring me to one downside. That damn honey mustard. I mean, I love honey mustard, but not this time. It made it way too sweet, overpowered the syrup, and robbed the waffle of its nuances, like its ever slight hint of vanilla. I know it was optional, but some points are still lost here. Okay, there is another point deducted for bypassing the obviously correct pairing, hot sauce. 
I tried this a second time because chicken should always have hot sauce. Am I right? This particular sandwich is actually better on its own, but if you're going to do a sauce, that's the one I suggest. Finally, the sandwich was missing one key thing, butter. The side of sauce was obviously to add moisture as well as flavor. My solution, butter those waffles. After it is cooked, two thin knife spreads, one for each bun, and not only do you solve the problem, but you add a partner that no waffle should be without. Overall, I give the sandwich a XXL for extra extra liked. That makes it the victor. It's near perfect. The negatives are so small and avoidable, they can't keep me from ordering it again and again. Definitely more than the burgers with their unavoidable downside. Plus, a bonus point for satiation. I was filled with this guy all night. Didn't even finish my cookie. Okay, that's a lie. I enjoyed the cookie. But slowly. I do want to thank the Slider Duo. I will be ordering them when I'm in a bovine mood. Just the AMC chicken and waffles more. A lot more. Of course, depending on availability. Well, that's it. I'm tired of talking, ready for another movie, and hungry as a T-Rex when the power goes down. In the rain. On an island. On an island full of dinosaurs with a sprinkling of humans. So until next time, folks, this is the Film Glutton reminding you to always have a backup order ready at AMC and never turn down an upgrade. Have a good night, folks.